everybody, and welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Jocelyn Mementa. Teresa is off today. Coming up, we've got a great show for you. The New Paradigm Theater, a local nonprofit, is creating a whole new kind of theater experience. We'll tell you how they're mixing stars in the community with stars of Broadway, TV, and <coughs> film, including local celebrity Nick Mitchell, a contestant from American Idol Season 8. We'll tell you how Nick is lending a hand at the upcoming So You Want to Be a Broadway Star competition. And later in the show, we'll hear how the group Smart Kids with Learning Disabilities is helping to combat misconceptions about learning disabilities through their Youth Achievement Award. And I'm here in the kitchen with Chef Christina Chang Bryant, a corporate chef and culinary events coordinator at Delia. Welcome. It's great to Thank have you, for Christina. Thank you for having me. All right, what are we going to be making today? Today we're going to make really nice and easy shrimp cakes. Um, you could use this for any kind of party. Um, you, you could add different flavors if you like. But it's just shrimp, which is um, done in a food processor with a little bit of uh, other ingredients. Uh, one of your favorite recipes? It is one of the easiest of my favorite recipes. I like easy recipes that you could just do. Uh, you could serve it for dinner. You could serve it as an appetizer. How do you serve it? I serve it every way. You like, do? Um, a Super Bowl, Chinese New Year, oh, uh, party. Because it's really easy. You always could have shrimp in the freezer. And you could always add different ingredients. If you don't have one thing, it could always be substituted. So it's... Nice and My simple. kind of recipe. My kind of recipe, too. <laughs> All right, Christina, let's tell everybody what they need to do right now. Take a look at camera two. Okay. And tell them what they need to do. Oh, just sit back, relax, and you're having lunch with style. Rachel? Well, today's lesson. The importance of durable cola cast iron sinks. And honesty is the best policy. Available at these Bender showroom locations. work hard for you. Visit our showrooms today, conveniently located throughout Connecticut. A rally to save jobs in Wallingford. <laughs> a march to stop violence in Bridgeport. Stop the violence! When you're speaking out, we're going to be there, making your voice heard. Who's got your back? News 8. Vintage, one of a kind, restoration and repair, exclusive lighting, lamps, accents, and over 1,000 lampshades on display. Restoration Lighting Gallery, we bring memories to life. The new Paradigm Theatre Company creates a theatre experience like no other, bringing the glitz and glamour of Broadway and Hollywood to local business, nonprofits, and schools. Here to tell us more is Kristen Huffman, a Broadway performer and former Miss Ohio, along with singer and actor Nick Mitchell, who got his big break when he auditioned for American Idol in season eight. It's great to have you both with yes. us. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks so much. Oh, my goodness. All right, so what have you been doing since Miss America? A lot. Well, <laughs> 20 years of theater. Yeah. <laughs> and then, woo, overnight. Broadway. Broadway, yeah, but uh, in company. And w the show won the Tony. And, uh, yeah, and then decided, oh, well, you know, I'll teach at two different universities, keep doing, like, film and TV stuff. And then we started the theater. Oh, this is great. Now, you just recently watched Miss America. What, what do you think of the changes over the years? I, I always like anything kind of new and updated if it serves a purpose. There were a couple things about the Miss America pageant that were kind of like, what? But the talent was so strong <laughs> Oh, this I year. love the talent portion terrific. of the, yeah. of the and show. And it was very flashy. They kept everything moving. So, from a producing perspective, it was great. Uh, <laughs> now, Nick, you're hello. taking... Yeah, hello. It's great <laughs> to have you with us as well. Oh, thank as well, you. I went to <laughs> season eight, American Idol. What's yes. going on? Well, you know, I'm back in my parents' basement. And uh, uh, just, oh, no, you're not. I've done a, not a Broadway show yet, an off-Broadway show. Okay. So, and I'm um, doing improv and hosting shows, and I got to record a music video about Simon Cowell. 
I hope you saw it. <laughs> it's a big break, wasn't it? It, it was being changed my life. part of the show. Yeah, it was, it was pretty amazing. And you were saying you were actually the roommate of? Well, Adam Lambert was next door to me. Okay. I was right by Chris Allen, also the winner. I, you know, I dabbled with the stars for a minute. <laughs> Hi, guys. Yeah. How are you? And, you? and do you keep in touch with these people? Yeah, all the time. I yeah. mean, I, some of them are busy. And, uh, <laughs> well, you're busy too, Broadway shows. And yeah, you're busy yeah too. exactly. Right. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool community. And you're like, trying to get onto Broadway. I'm trying. I'm auditioning. I'm I'm learning right now from a teacher right here. Exactly. Ms. Yeah, Miss Huffman. <laughs> My goodness, you're on how old? You were on what show is it on Broadway? Um, I was in Company yes. on Broadway, With and that's Stephen when we Sondheim. played. Yes. yes. And we played all the musical instruments and did all the singing and acting. So we were nominated for a lot of awards and won the Tony. How challenging yep. was that for you? You know, um, the way the director John Doyle set it up, he really worked it so that it was everything you went to school for, you know? And, and what I learned a lot from that was um, exactly how to market a new idea, you know, which helped when we started the theater. Exactly. She's teaching me. I'm learning. Are you, are you yeah, I was I'm actually, say, I'm working with one of her partners, uh, Jamie Beth Margolis. They Executive us. director of the theater. Hey, Jamie Beth. <laughs> and um, I got in contact with them, and it's been so exciting to help out and yeah. do great things for Connecticut. And yeah. It's great, because you're both, you're, you're here in Milford now, and of course, you're a native of... Right. Brookfield. Brookfield, Bobcats, Connecticut. Right? It's great yeah. to have you here because you're always in and out a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. It's hard to get a hold of you. All right, let's talk about the new Paradigm Theater okay. Company, which you've started. Yes, it's um, uh, we incorporated it in September, and it's on our, our website, mptheater.org. Um, and we've got a couple things. We're fulfilling our mission statement right now. When people say, where are you located? We're virtual. We are auditioning the area we <laughs> She's want everywhere. to be. That's and it's, right. it's Stanford in Greenwich, that okay. area, and we're already reaching out to other nonprofits and helping them raise money. That's part of our mission statement, so we're doing this event this weekend on the 21st mm -hmm. for the United Way Broadway Babes. And I'm bringing up the United Broadway Way of Milford. Milford. United Way of Milford, and there are still tickets, I'm sure, available, um, but it's selling well. So um, <laughs> the, I'm bringing up some Broadway Babes. I'm sorry, you can't. I, yeah, I wanted well, to perform with that. Well, well, I, I wanted to. I, I think a... he's going to come and make a special appearance. Well, there's okay. a gender but issue. But I don't know if you, <laughs> yes, you're not a girl, but you did do you the female impersonation. You could be a maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. let's not talk yeah, about that. But he might be there as a special guest. I'm sure everyone would love that. And be um, great. again, that's, those are performers from the New Paradigm Theater Company. Yeah. And then the next weekend, yeah. we're doing So You Want to Be a Broadway Star at the Stanford Hilton. They've been so generous. And those are well, one of our missions is to educate. Even though that's a flashy title, it really is a chance for us to bring up these mm -hmm. judges. Like the musical producer of Spider-Man, Paul Bogave, is a judge. Jamie Beth Mandel Golis, right. uh, Maureen Hamill, uh, Randy Kay, Scott Bryce, actor and director in PBS. And Nick. And Nick is co-hosting oh. with me. Yes. Well, I'm just yeah. trying to make them laugh, but I will just follow up on what she's saying. Yes. It is important, kids. If you want to be on Broadway, okay, mm -hmm. or any place, any, anybody, um, instead of just college, to meet these people, professionals, to how to get you gotta the business. Network, right? yeah, you got to network, right? how to audition. You, gotta, you, you have to network. That's one thing I didn't know. Really? I thought you just go to school and then you show up and then things work out. Right. No, no you, you It have helps to know. to know some folks. That, well, and I think that's the niche that we're finding we can fill because there are great educational institutes. I teach at the University of Hartford at Westcon. Musical Theater Connecticut is a great teaching institution as well as the high schools and colleges in that southern Connecticut area. They teach. what we, And then there's the first step with like curtain call. They can hire people that are just getting out there. You know what I mean? Um, we want to be that then connector to once you have that experience, mm -hmm. we will connect you up with the people who can get you the jobs. And that's what the So You Want to Be a Broadway star is this weekend. You and I were weekend. talking about how uh, the benefit of having the arts in your life. Yeah. Every child should be exposed yeah. to it. So Nick, when did you start getting into it? I think my first uh, solo was at St. Marguerite Bushwa, Christmas Eve. <laughs> really? I was age eight. Now, yeah, I, I've been you in shows in since like fifth grade at Huckleberry High School. I mean, it's been always my life. It's, to be honest, I, I wasn't good at football or baseball, so that, like, you know, got me friends, and uh, you, you feel good about yourself. It's but you important. said American Idol was really a fluke. American Idol was a fluke because I did a character. I like doing comedy. I love Martin Short and that kind of stuff. And he's going to so. do that at the, um, he's going to do a piece that he wrote himself. Yeah. Uh, uh, as the, my co-host for the. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So it was a fluke, but you got on. I got on, and who knew? They kept on getting me through, aside <laughs> from uh, Simon Cowell not wanting me, Paula did, <laughs> so I was there. So you want to encourage more kids to yeah. get into and think out of the what, box. what they want to get into. Yeah, and be yourself. And, you know. It does. It teaches that kind of leadership thinking and teaches that out-of-the-box thinking. I, the Wall Street Journal said that the new MBA is yes. the MFA, Masters what? of Fine Arts. Absolutely. Because it really, you know, corporations are looking for new ideas. That's part of what we want to train. We actually have some pictures here. Let's go through okay. some of them All so right. we can showcase what you're doing here. And who is this? That's Jody Stevens. Um, 
he actually, she was on Broadway and Jekyll and Hyde. She's been TV and film, and she is Scott Bryce's wife, and he's going to be one of our judges. So, you know, we are very loyal to our friends. And our next picture? That's Kate Chapman. She's one of my Broadway babes that will be performing this weekend. She was in Mary Poppins, Les Mis, oh. um, Pajama Game. Holy moly. Huh? One day you're going to be there, Nick. Yeah, he moving soon. Yeah. yeah, I'll be there. I'll make you a star. I'm and trying. Is, that's me. That's you? <laughs> yeah. I wear that gown everywhere. So every picture you see, <laughs> I wear it to the Tonys. There it is again. <laughs> and there's our last picture. All right, right, that was what we did November 11th in Stanford at Grand. Well, let's put the information on the screen now. This is okay. a big fundraiser. This Saturday, January 21st, you can see Kristen Huffman and her Broadway babes at Laurelton Hall in Milford. Yes. Got to reserve tickets. Call mm -hmm. the United Way of Milford at this number, 203. And yes. yes, and Nick might be there. 874-6791. But you are going to see Nick at the So You Want to Be a Broadway Star competition. That's mm -hmm. January 28th and 29th in Stanford. For more information, log on to mptheater.org. Thank you. How much fun. This has been so That's much great. fun. Let's get the I'm Connecticut like, talent. Yeah. Exactly. Come on. Yeah, let's you get know, that instead, Connecticut talent. And bring Broadway to Connecticut. Let's as do it. always going to New York for okay. that. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Great. Thank Thanks you. So You're much. welcome. Mm -hmm. Up next, Chef Christina shows us how to make easy shrimp cakes when Connecticut style returns. At Amica, we know that different people have different reasons for choosing auto insurance. I'm always looking for a great price. I'm a value connoisseur. Customer service. That's my sweet spot. It's got to be someone you trust. No matter how you decide, call 877-35-AMICA for a free auto insurance quote. At Amica, we listen and we focus on what you need and you could save hundreds of dollars. Value isn't just a good price. Amica worked with me to find the best coverage and I've always heard great things about their claim service. If you want to be a satisfied customer, pick a company that's known for customer satisfaction. I did my homework on Amica and they get A++ ratings for financial strength year after year. When I called, they found discounts I didn't even know I qualified for. So no matter what you're looking for from auto insurance, I wanted a company I could count on to save money, to be treated like gold, all of the above. Call 877-35-AMICA for your free no obligation quote. You could save hundreds by switching to Amica. So call Amica now. Hey guys, breakfast! If whole grain isn't the first ingredient in your breakfast cereal, what is? Now, in every box of General Mills Big G cereal, there's more whole grain than any other ingredient. That's why it's listed first on the side. From Honey Nut Cheerios to Cinnamon Toast Crunch to Lucky Charms, get more whole grain than any other ingredient without question. Just look for the white check. Good food always helps to set the tone for any occasion. Today we have an appetizer to get your party started. Sharing her recipe is Christina Chang Bryant, the Corporate Chef and Culinary Events Coordinator at Delia. Welcome, it's great oh, to have you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. And we, were, we started, we talked about this earlier, we're making sh shrimp cakes? We're making shrimp cakes. Um, it's very easy. You just get shrimp that's already cleaned, or and then you just shell it, make sure you dry it really well. Now, shrimp, do you have to devein it, or can you buy it already deveined? Oh, you could totally buy it deveined. Because it's really a mess when you have it's to a mess. Kind no. of do it yourself. No, it's, it's really great. They come in already cleaned. You just take the shells out and you're all set to go. Just make sure you dry them well and then you just put in a food processor. Now you can use other um, you can. seafood, right? Absolutely. If you you could use crab for this. Crab, yes. And the crab, if the crab you don't really have to put in a food processor. You could also use salmon or tuna. It's really a versatile recipe and that's what I like about it. If you don't have something, you could always substitute. And this is your recipe. It's, I went to somebody's house to have it. She's a wonderful cook, her name is Patricia, and she did a summer, a uh, five course meal, and that was one of her recipes. And I never asked her for the recipe, but when I went home, I thought, I have to try something. And this is what I came up with. Oh, this is great, um, this is the best kind of recipe, okay. Yeah, you just, and you, make you it can up? substitute it. Okay. Um, you, you chop the shrimp first. Okay. You do about three pulses. You don't want to chop it 100%. You want it kind of chunky. Just a little bit chunky. And then you add all your ingredients, which is going to be one egg. And that's the important, the egg and the Keeps panko. it together. Exactly. And then the onions. If you like less onions, you could put less onions. You could substitute it with something. Oh, but it gives so much flavor. It I does. I love the flavor of an onion. Okay. And Dijon mustard adds a little zing to that. Another zing is the lime juice. 
It's about two tablespoons. Can you substitute for like lemon juice? Absolutely. Because you don't have lemon I, juice? I found some nice Meyer lemon. Yes. You could do Meyer lemons. Uh, you just want a little bit of tang. And then you want something green. Um, a lot of people put cilantro. And you're putting? Chives. Chives. It's like an onion. Onion knee. You can put chives. You're good with that knife. Yes, oh goodness, having, not having a nice sharp knife <laughs> is the most important thing. I take my knife everywhere. So it's your secret weapon. It is every chef's <laughs> secret weapon. Okay, and it's look at to that. Have it. And then you put your chives. Try to get all of them. I didn't. And some salt. Usually, did we do the breadcrumbs yet? No, we haven't. No, yet. the breadcrumbs is last. You're gonna okay. fold it into it. Okay. Because you don't want it too pasty. So you're just. Here we go. Too bad. Until it's Ooh, kind of incorporated. Your food processor doesn't make too much noise. No, That's nice. no, it's okay. it does I carry everywhere. Too. <laughs> no, no. But so it's nice. Okay. And now we're going to transfer it to a bowl, and then we're going to fold go. in. Oops, got it. We'll fold in uh, the, the panko. The panko. Uh -huh. Now we. Were, I was talking about this earlier. This is. This is made from Jap Japan, right? Panko? Panko originally was from Japan, but now we're the biggest exporters of panko. One we are. bread? Yes, we are. And another um, thing that is very American Oops, is shiraka sauce. Yes. Which every yes, chef yes, yes, yes. uses. Okay. And then you just fold it. You want to fold it? Yes, I'll fold it. Just fold it in okay. nicely. And then we're going to make the... And then we're going to make nice little balls. There you go. And the best way to do You've it... You've actually made some already. I did. And we'll show that to everybody. And see, the, it's okay. binding. Everything yes, is binding it is nicely. Binding. Very good. Now, what do you want to do with that? Okay. Let me move it over. No. Nope. And now we oh, can do. Oh, scoop it in. That's a secret, also, which is great. So oh, you get the same sizes. Great. I learned okay. this at a is catering company. Yes. All right. That's okay. perfect. I love this. And okay. if you make it bigger, it could be almost served like an entree. Okay. Or we could serve it as a salad. You make the roll, and you. And Just that's it? it. And is our oil ready? That's ready? Yeah, uh -huh. I think so. And then it could and just roll it. Just make it into oh, a little look patty. At perfect little patty. And it's exactly. nice and fluffy. And then you just put it in the hot oil. And everything looks perfect. Yes. And it's, it's easy, easy I love recipe. that you use that scoop. It's it's a, it's a great thing for cookies, I, I need for, one of those. for okay. burgers, and you could get it in different sizes also. Are you gonna make some more? I'll make some more. Okay, and now, you could you just want me to put these in? Absolutely. Okay. Goodness. Hmm. Let me see if I can scoop it out. <laughs> I'll use one of these. Okay. Got it? Uh, I think so. It. Okay. This? I'm going to put that in there. Yeah, and to serve, to, serve the, to serve the cakes, Yes. the best sauce and the fastest, is? this is also a secret from catering, is mayonnaise. Your favorite mayonnaise with a little bit of shiraka sauce. That's a little spicy, isn't it? Yes. A little bit. My little bit is a little more than... Okay. And then just mix it in, and it's really, and really sauce. flavorful. And that's the sauce. And so we just cook the cakes, what, golden brown on each so side? Golden brown on each side takes about three minutes. Okay. And It'll, this will take a little while to cook. And, of course, the recipe is on our website, so be sure to get on there. Uh, Connecticut style, WTNH.com. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try this at the end of the show. We're going to get all our guests up here and, and I hope they like eat it. it. Oh, I'm sure we're going to love yeah. it. Oh, my goodness. And for your party, you can use it for anything. Chinese New Year, like I said, New Year's. And New that's New coming up? Yeah, it's coming up on and 23rd. the year of the dragon. dragon. Yes. Okay. <laughs> year of the dragon. It's a lucky year. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Okay, well, we'll taste this at the end of the show. Okay. All right, coming up next, Smart Kids with Learning Disabilities talks about their Youth Achievement Award when Connecticut Style returns. Stay with us. This winter, job number one at Storm Team 8 is keeping you safe. When a storm is approaching, we at Storm Team 8 will be tracking every movement. And when the snow is falling, we're going to work around the clock to keep you updated. Nothing will get in our way this winter because your safety is our priority. Who's got your back this winter? Storm Team 8. I'm here to tell you that your options for getting out of debt have never been better. How do I know? Because I'm Howard Dvorkin, the founder of Consolidated Credit. For nearly two decades, we've helped over 5 million people 
just like you. Simply pick up the phone and find out what our Freedom Quest program can do for you. Reducing your payments by up to 50% is just the beginning. As soon as you call, the hard part is over. Call Consolidated Credit now. 1-800-774-8296. When I'm looking for furniture, I look no further than Pilgrim Furniture City. The furniture's gorgeous. And talk about selection. They have more living rooms, more dining rooms, more bedrooms to choose from. And this week, everything's on sale. With no interest for four years, no minimum purchase, and no down payment required. That's like the best financing offer in Connecticut. Pilgrim Furniture City makes gorgeous affordable. In Southington, Milford, and Manchester. Children with learning disabilities and attention deficit disorders are often viewed to be less capable than their peers, but what you may not know is this, these children can be just as intelligent and more often have significant strengths and talents. Smart Kids with Disabilities, a local nonprofit, is helping these children succeed both in the classroom and beyond. Joining me now are Jane Ross, the Executive Director, along with Mary Ann Belts, the Co-Chairman for the Youth Achievement Awards. Welcome. It's great to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you let's talk about the mission of smart kids with learning disabilities yes um, we were founded to get information about these issues to parents quickly early on so they could begin to understand first of all that these kids need very specialized help but also to understand that they are extremely bright and resourceful and fully capable of learning when they get the right help and support and so the challenge is for for parents is to really notice what's going on with their kids and, and perhaps and then move from there? And move from there to talk with their schools, with their teacher if they have concerns, and then move on and don't, don't give up and don't fail to find out what exactly is happening with your child. We provide enormous resources to help with that process. We have a website at smartkidswithld.org in which you can do a lot of research about the various issues. Dyslexia, which is difficulty with language and learning to read and write, with executive function issues, with ADHD, NLD. And, and so many of these issues can be easily overcome. Um, I wouldn't say that it's easy. They can, <laughs> they can be, be overcome. overcome. Absolutely. I understand mm -hmm. what you're so, saying. Yes. It is challenging. Marianne, mm -hmm. you have a son with mm -hmm. a learning disability. At what age did you notice something was um, not quite right? First about six years old. And um, as soon as he was diagnosed with dyslexia, I contacted Smart Kids through a friend. And at the time, you had to call. And I called Jane and spoke with her. And she pointed us in the right direction. We joined, got membership information, and that sort of thing. And really, that began the road to learning what he needed to learn. So learning um, a proper way to get him the education that he needed to help him succeed. How's he doing? He's doing very well. He's a sophomore in high school and he makes honors and he's great. He does everything a typical 16 year old kid will do. And um, he's athletic and does lots of things and he struggles at times. But um, that's part of it and that's okay because every kid struggles. But he did learn that he could succeed. And it's never too late for parents to reach out to get the help, right Jane? You can always get help at whatever age. You know, some adults find out when their children are diagnosed that they also have issues. Well, let's, talk, issues. let's talk more about the Youth Achievement Awards. Mm -hmm. What is this all about? Well, the Youth Achievement Award came about um, to recognize these kids with learning disabilities who often struggle and have low self-esteem and have, you know, other types of issues because of the learning disabilities. But what we found is most of these children and young adults have great talents, whether it be athletics or performance or science. And so um, Jane started, we started this award to honor these kids. And it's really a great night of celebration. And we just showed some photos and it was a photo of which winner? Of uh, the 2011 Youth Achievement Award winner, Ryan Haggerty, who actually is from Stamford, Connecticut, grew up struggling with severe language and reading issues. And I understand you're getting, uh, you want people to apply for this, uh, these achievement awards mm -hmm. and to nominate someone with this, for the Smart Kids with Learning Disabilities Annual Youth Achievement Award, all you have to do is go to the website smartkidswithld.org forward slash awards. The deadline is important here, February 28th. 
Mm -hmm. And you're looking for as many candidates as possible. We generally have about 150 applications from very exciting kids from all over the country and beyond. We have very good. Canada. It's great to have you both with us. Thank you so much for telling us more about your organization and these achievement awards. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Don't go away. There's more Connecticut style right after this. Quality, service, selection, and solutions. More than just a lighting store. At Connecticut Lighting Centers, we put the accent on your home. If you're ready to get more from your TV service, now's a great time to get AT&T U-verse TV. Make the switch. Call now to get AT&T U-verse TV for only $29 a month for six months. HD-ready DVR included at no extra charge. Plus, get up to 182 channels with HBO and Cinemax free for three months. U-verse TV lets you record up to four shows at once on a single DVR, and you can record and play back your shows from any room. Even upgrade to over 170 HD channels. That's more than cable. Call now to get AT&T U-verse TV for only $29 a month for six months. HD-ready DVR included at no extra charge. Plus, get up to 182 channels with HBO and Cinemax free for three months. And AT&T U-verse TV leads major cable providers in customer satisfaction. See for yourself why AT&T U-verse is America's fastest-growing TV service. Don't get left behind. AT&T U-verse TV like you've never seen before. Come experience the freedom to see with Liberty Vision, Connecticut's most progressive LASIK surgery center. With over 30 years of experience, Dr. Jeffrey Gold can perfect your eyesight with epi LASIK surgery. For more information, visit libertyvision.net. Okay, we are so excited. We're all, we're all hungry, aren't yeah. we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it smells so good. Oh, look at this. And she's, right. Chef Christina, you're making it look so pretty. What are you, you have, you're putting the sauce right on top? You could put the sauce right on top. Or, what is this sauce? It's a sauce, it's just a little mayo and? A, ca a shiraka sauce. Mm -hmm. Shiraka, any hot sauce, anything you like with mayonnaise. Yeah. And it's, it's really a fantastic sauce. Okay, we're sauce. ready to go. And we just want to thank all of our guests today. Jane Ross, <laughs> Mary Ann Belts, Christina Chang, Brian, and of course, Kristen Huffman and Nick Mitchell. Hey. Most of all, thank you all for watching. And, and make it a great day, everybody. We're going to eat now. Okay, can we try it? You want to <laughs> Should I just pass this? Absolutely. All right. Let me pass the one with the sauce. Okay. okay, no one's allergic to shrimp, right? No. Nope. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, she's first in line. Oh, you're the one.